Well, it would seem like all subscription-based services that, you know, always have to remove something for another, that day has officially come for Game Pass. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Ryan the Professional. Shout out to all the new subscribers. Welcome. I uh, appreciate everybody. Let's go ahead and get into this uh, news and see what's up, shall we? So according to this article from Xbox Achievements, uh, Microsoft will be removing 21 games from Game Pass in May. And uh, this is what the article says. So let's go ahead and put that on the screen. And then I'm going to give you guys my impressions. Sound good? All right. Let's start. So while games come and go from Xbox Game Pass all the time, just like Netflix, Amazon Prime, and other video streaming services remove stuff to make uh, way for other content, this month we'll see no less than 21 games leaving Microsoft subscription-based service as titles like Laser League and State of Decay 2 are stubbed in. Among the games re uh, leaving Xbox Game Pass in May are the likes of Blood Bowl 2 and and defense grid 2 on xbox one while the other 19 titles being removed from the catalog include bioshock 1 2 and 3 uh, borderlands bionic commando ring 2 dig dug final fight double impact and xcom enemy within while 21 titles all leaving at once uh, on the 31st of May might come as a bit of a blow for Xbox Game Pass members. You can purchase each game to own with 20% off for a limited period. And State of Decay 2 will be added on the 22nd of May. Alongside Laser League, which will be added today, um, I guess he, I guess this means in 2018, uh, Homefront, um, Revo I'm sorry, Homefront the Revolution, um, Unmechanical Extended, the escapist and overcooked and sonic and knuckles will be added as well so that's what that had to say um pretty good i mean that's interesting you know for um additions to the list but this is where i have to um pretty much just put my little you know point across on this um I still believe Game Pass is a cool way to get people on the Xbox ecosystem. I do stand heavily by it. I think it's a great value. You know, for 10 bucks, you get a lot of games, especially day one. You don't have to pay $60 to play a game anymore, you know, on the Xbox One. And that's pretty cool. I like that idea. Uh, the problem with Game Pass is it suffers from the same thing that plagues Netflix and uh, Amazon Prime and such and such. The thing that plagued M uh, Netflix is this, okay? And this is coming from somebody who usually, like, who used to be, like, a big, big Netflix addict, okay? I used to be on it every day. You know, I just loved that. I thought it was so convenient. All my shows that I used to miss were on there, such as my shows like the very popular Angel series, which is basically a spinoff from uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. That was on there. Uh, you had the, um, what else was on there that I watched? Uh, Nip Tuck, which is my, one of my favorites, still one of my favorite shows. I love that show to death. Um, it's a lot of shows on there that I just, I love, and they removed them, you know, after a while, after me being, you know, on the, um, on the service, while well, they, they removed them, and then that's when they started to branch out and do their own things, such as having Marvel shows, and, you know, a lot of other things, and it's fine, you know, it's no, it's no problem with that, but the thing that plagues Game Pass is the same thing that plagues Netflix, when you remove something, you basically remove kind of incentive, especially when somebody really wanted to invest in it for a particular game that you're going to remove. Now, a lot of people might argue, well, the people who bought this or who people who are saying that should have already had the service or, you know, the people who are saying this should have known ahead of time that this is a subscription service that, that does rotate. And you got a point there. You do have a point there. But let's be real here. Wouldn't it be smarter for them just to add on to it? Instead of just removing 21 games, just add 21 more games and make it more. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's more than 21 games, or I'm sorry, 21 movies on Netflix. Is, am I right? There's more than 21 movies on Netflix. There's like 30 in each category for each particular thing. And I'm not even counting the TV shows. So they could have done that. I mean, they truly want to be the Netflix of gaming. You got to add more before you start taking stuff off. And you definitely need that incentive. You need that massive hitter. 
You know what I'm saying? And Microsoft just doesn't have that if you're going to, especially, or let's say they did have it. Let's say people were playing um, Bioshock 2, right? And Bioshock 2 was, was reaching an all-time high, and they just removed Bioshock 2. You think people are going to be like, okay, well, I can get it 20% off on the store? No, they're like, well, what's the point in doing that? Well, you just took it away from me, and they're going to go away. I mean, that's how it is. So you need that incentive. But, you know, I mean, 21 games being removed and they're adding upon it. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what games are going to be added to it. I mean, it could be good. It could be bad. But, you know, I'm going to uh, hold my judgment. I'm pretty sure they're going to announce this at E3. This is why they they do it now. E3 is next month. So it is, a, it is a little too convenient that they just say, oh, yeah, we're removing these in May. Nah, they're going to uh, touch on this in E3. But honestly, though, um, going into E3, I don't think this was a smart move to even announce this. I think they should have just waited until E3 and then announce it. That way, you know, they could have surprised you with something good. You know, live. Get a live reaction as opposed to uh, just putting it out there and going, okay, you know, this is, you know, this is what we're going to do. And, you know, your thoughts, right? They should have just done it live. But nonetheless, though, I mean, you know, it's good. It's cool to see. I'm interested in I'm going to see what they're going to do. Uh, as far as Game Pass, you know, Game Pass is still a good, you know, investment in 2018. Uh, if you have not bought, you know, any of these games, you can now buy them with 10 bucks. I mean, who wouldn't do that? That's a steal. So that's what I got to see on the matter. Great, um, or not really great news, but it's interesting news for Microsoft. And uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so that's the video. If you guys liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And don't forget to check us out on Fridays for the Real Gamer Talk podcast, a.k.a. the RGT podcast. I appreciate you guys so very, very much checking out the video. You guys be blessed, easy, and I'm out of here. Deuces.